Hi guys, this is my first tutorial with microcontrollers and today instead of showing you the basic LED blinking I will show you a little bit advanced topic of interrupts. Interrupts is basically uh, a function that holds the current operation and does the immediate requirement, completes the immediate requirement. Okay, so this is a plain simple circuit as you can see and I'm using Proteus simulator because I don't have the real hardware available with me. So the IC is PIC 16F877. As you can see, I have connected a uh, button with two LEDs. What I want is by default this green LED will glow. Okay. And as soon as I press this button and release it, this LED should go off and this LED will blink 5 times. And once it has completed the blinking, this LED will again glow to its original state. Right? So, as you can see, the circuit. And let's come to the code. For the code development, I am using Micro C Pro version 6.0 okay you can use any version that supports this particular IC okay first of all uh, this is a simple variable of the type int that I declared globally and this is a function called plink and this function starts from 0 to 4 and is 0 1 2 3 4 for five times and it increments the variable secondly and as I can see I have written here port C dot RC2 because in the circuit I have connected the pin RC2 to this LED and RB2 to this LED okay so RC2 is one one delay of 100 milliseconds then it goes off milliseconds then the whole process is repeated for five times okay this is the interrupt routine we will come to this a little bit later let's come to the mean this is the main body mu and main function I mean okay the the declaration of tris B tris B is a special resistor which is known as the tri-state resistor which it uh, makes a pin input or output for your reference you can uh, remember it like this one is for input that is one resembles i and zero resembles o it is for output so i have made all the uh, pin b i mean port b pins inputs and port c pins outputs this is a special again a special register inside the PIC microcontroller which is used for the analog to digital conversion and I have made it assigned it a value of zero so that every bit becomes digital okay you can refer to your to the data sheet of your particular IC for detailed information secondly I need to enable the global interrupts it is a mandatory thing okay whenever you're using using a uh, interrupt function we have to enable this so it's under the incon register so I have mentioned incon.gie for the global interrupt and assigned it to a value of 1 secondly my input would be in the pin B and if you can uh, if you refer to the data sheet of this particular IC it is pick 16 f877 you will see let me show you the data sheet quickly if I search for um, RP0 can see RB0 can also be the external interrupt pin that is INT okay in this particular 
function which I want is I have to check the interrupt logic right so intf can go to here int I interrupt this is the interrupt which I am looking for that is external interrupt on the rb0 or inter int pin is edge triggered okay so uh, I would require the int f when simply int e uh, function here that is the, this function that is why I have mentioned int e1 and this is a while loop it does forever because while one means it's always true it will loop forever port p dot rb2 as i shown as i had shown you rb2 is the first green led which needs to be on throughout the time until someone presses the button so i have made it one one means high output is high now let's come to the interrupt service routine I have uh, disabled I mean clear off the global interrupts just to be on the safer side but normally the pick does it on its own just to be on the safer side I have assigned a value of 0 and cleared it then I have uh, instructed it to check that if intcon dot intf this is the flag register if you have checked it here this is the flag register intf if the flag value is zero i can show you the thing intcon where is that to search for it i believe intcon register so this Yes, here it is. So int is one. I have enabled it. Intf f one means f. I mean this code means if intf equals to one. Okay, if I put a exclamatory mark here, that would uh, show if int con dot intf equals to zero. It is not true. I and mean, this is true. That is, it is one. So external interrupt has occurred and after that what should happen port rb2 should go zero that means this port should go off and we will call in the blink function so that it will uh, blink the rc2 port and once it is done it will clear off the flag and enable the global interrupt once again to check if there is another interrupt uh, coming in or not okay so I have already built it you can all uh, build it again and double click it and load the file like this and if I hit play you will see LED one goes forever and never and never it will never go off but as soon as I press this button like this it blinks five times and now you can see it's off and as soon as it goes off it will go again as simple as that so this is a pretty simple example of how you can use interrupts in your designing and interrupts are believe me interrupts are very very helpful you can do a lot of things using interrupts of various type like uh, timer interrupts or ccp module interrupts you can check your data sheet for further reference for the specific ic okay so i hope you enjoyed it and thank you see you again